So at the latest WWDC, well, WWDC uh, 23, Apple came up with a new way of uh, persisting data. So previously, it was, as, you, uh, as everyone knows, it was uh, core data, but now it's revamped as Swift data, and it allows you to uh, you know, use this like a model context as an environment variable, and then like you can just query it, and then it'll just like display out there. So basically, it does all the uh, what core data does, but better and easier. And and like one of the headaches of like uh, core data is like uh, if you want to make your own like a uh, like a data like a class or something like that, it was a um, a hell of a mess. Like you had to like make your own like a data thing, and then you had to like uh, conform it, like make a like you know some inherited like a class of it. It was a headache. I don't, I'm, I'm not too familiar with this. I'm, I'm not gonna like pretend. But right now, you can actually use this add uh, model macro to your custom class, uh, custom class, and this will basically become that data model for you. And Apple said, um, Apple said it um, supports like a pretty much you know a lot of like a stuff like a, you know like a date type, um, integer just uh, just by in, uh, just by int, not like a sixteen thirty two or some uh, something like that string and all that. And yeah, what uh, but what I found is that if you want to use enum type inside your uh, model class, it will uh, it will not like the data is not going to be saved. So right now I'm just running this as a like a vanilla state. Um, what it does is basically if you just hit plus, like right here, this is this is just gonna like uh, record like um, you know the, uh, the things like this. And then if you exit it out, since this is a, a persisted data, everything will stay here, right? And if I want to demonstrate, I need to uh, delete this. I'm just I'm gonna delete that. But let's say we want to use a time zone on top of this. We can say enum time zone of quotable of case central and case uh, eastern. So what Apple said is that if you want to use your own enum, you, ju uh, you, just, you just need to conform to quotable and like that's all you need to do. And let's say we do this by adding time zone here. Time zone right here, right? So, okay, let me double check. So, uh, so if I want, uh, so if I want to run this, it should, uh, let's say, missing argument, oh, yeah. It should still run, I'm just gonna like, uh, initialize it to central. It should still run. It would look fine, like until you kill the app and try uh, try to see like what, uh, what, uh, other data that you have already added here so far. So uh, so right now, I'm, uh, I'm gonna kill this. And since this is a persistent data, if you launch it again, you have to see all this again, right? But if you uh, if you used any kind of uh, your custom um, enum of like a quotable or something, like this is all gonna be gone. Like it's just dead. Like it's nowhere to be found. So I'm just gonna delete this. And as you can see, that uh, that is because of this, um, you know, your custom enum. So how do we get around, you know, like doing that if you really want to use uh, your enum, which is like a lot of case. So what I um so what I <coughs> like my way of workaround is that you just want to uh make another private variable time zone uh private or some uh, something like that and then <coughs> and then we're uh, we're just basically gonna like uh, use this and convert it inside this like a time zone. And in order to do that, we need to do, uh, we need to do something about that here. Let's say we're just gonna like um, <coughs> make this time zone into string, and then we can just give it a like um, value here, like so. And then in the uh, init call, like, we can uh, we can just uh, we can just leave this, but private var. 
and then we're going to uh, make this the same type as one of those you know, uh, one of this one here if, so if this one is like I say um, integer or something like you need to uh, you need to make this time zone private into integer type so what we're going to do is that basically we're going uh, we're going to say th uh, this time uh, this time zone private is time zones dot raw value and then so like it, uh, this is like getting like um initialized as like i say like string type of central or like eastern or whatever right and then we're going to make this var as a getter and we can just say return time zone raw value of self dot uh time zone private and this is uh since this one is get uh not getting set as any like a central or like anything other than eastern or like central at the moment we can safely force unwrap that but if you want to be like a very um cautious about it if you um if you're like a um, what is it uh, manager is re uh, really strict about like a force unwrapping or something like that you can just give it a like um unknown case k n o w n and then just give it a uh, just return unknown type if something doesn't uh, does not match up but if you uh, if you code it properly this case this case should not be hit uh, from this call anyway so let's let's test this uh test this out like uh since i want to like actually see it on the ui i want to put uh put ev put these kind of like information on a vstack text item dot time zone as you can see this is uh this is type of time zone type and since we uh since we want to like display it out there as a string we can just like say row value dot uh font i'm just gonna i'm just gonna give it a title three font or like whatever i'm running it right now and bam as you can see everything's uh displaying correctly so we're uh, we're going to do the same testing we're gonna exit it out see if everything shows up voila the same so okay yeah, uh, that was uh, that was how you can get around of like using your own enum type on your Swift data class. I'm pretty sure Apple will fix it like a, uh, fair, uh, fairly quickly. I already uh, submitted like a feed, uh, feedback, and my video is going going to be obsolete in like a month or two or so. But until then, you can just use my uh, way of uh, sort of like a uh, workaround, and then you, uh, you can you know like a fix that when Apple finally uh, fixes this issue. Okay, thank you for watching.